you came, excuse the mess it made it usually doesn't rain in southern Oh, 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 hello there! Hello, I did not notice you were uh you were watching. I go by the name of Mr. Golden Sports and uh you happen to be watching a Madden NFL twenty five gameplay. Um you guys might have uh caught me um, <clears throat> singing a little bit of song, you know, but, uh, welcome, welcome anyways. We'll act like that never happened. So, uh, I have the Dallas Cowboys, and I am going up against a Twitch subscriber. And, uh, yeah, definitely a very tough, frustrating game. I, um, uh, didn't realize, well, no, no, let me not say that. It didn't take me long to realize that this young gentleman had a custom playbook filled with, like, Every amazing run in the game. <laughs> so he starts off with a buck sweep. And you know, I'm the Cowboys. He's the Lions. And then he uh, goes on ahead hits me with the buck sweep read option. Hits the outside. Nice little slow spin move by Matthew Stafford for a gain of eight. And uh, he, he runs the ball very heavily. And uh, very, very effective at it. As we all know, I, I struggle against the run very, very much. You know, I always prepare for the pass. And when somebody continuously runs the ball with some of the runs being the better runs of the game, um, it, it, I, 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 it's not good luck for me, right? So our first play, we give it to DeMarco Murray. We hit the outside and he can go Oh, the way as DeMarco Murray hits the outside. And we end up scoring a touchdown tying up the game 7-7. Seven seven. Here we go back again on defense trying to stop the multiple amazing runs that he has in store for us. So right here, man, he goes to a strong close, nice little uh, toss play. We had the angle, but unfortunately, we went, we kept going down instead of, uh, you know, cutting him off, which is always frustrating. So right here again, got us with another two pulling guard run, and again, he's he's chuck full of them. So uh, first and ten, right here again, he goes back to the buck sweep, and I can't stop. I just need to know, you know, I need to prepare for it. Like you know, if I don't, then uh, yeah, that that run. Is uh, it can cause a lot of problems. It definitely can. Uh, right here, he rolls out with Stafford, goes over the middle, and uh, we bet that down. Third and 12 right here. Let's see if we can make a hold to a field goal. Then he goes to his wing formation, and he goes over the middle. We drop an interception, which is definitely always frustrating, especially on a third and long. We could have prevented that field goal, but, you know, at least we held them to uh, not scoring a touchdown. So 10 to 7 right here. Uh, we go back again, and let's see if we can go on ahead and continue to put, you know, pressure on his offense. You know, I, I want to get him passing the ball. You know what I mean? So, I got to get him out of his runs, and in order to do that, you know, a nice heavy dosage of being able to score quickly and often, you know, should feel, he should then feel like, okay, he needs to do the same to keep up. And, you know, I, I just got to get him into passing, you know, because he's running the ball down my throat, and I'm not doing a good job of stopping it whatsoever. So first and 10, we run to the outside again, but that time we get shut down. Second level, we go back to the run. You know, um, third and four, this is a very big play. We decide to go to our pistol formation. I am running Kansas City playbook, and uh, we go to the strong power to get ourselves a first down. Right, we try to go to Desertron, but unfortunately he drops the ball due to contact, and that right there sucked. I would have loved to have had that. Uh, right, just a quick little out route gives us the touchdown, and now we go up 14 to 10. And we do receive ball at halftime. So that right there is always a, a big factor to keep in mind. If we can get a stop here, get ball at halftime, score a game, could possibly be over. You know, we'll be up, you know, multiple possessions. And, you know, uh, he should definitely be out of his run by then. You know, so let's see if we can go on ahead and force that. So he rolls outside the pocket, passing the ball a little bit more on third and 11. Nice in route right there. He just was able to grab onto that. Uh, right there, you know, like I said, if I'm... Uh, predicting buck sweep you know i will stop it it just sucks when i'm predicting it and it's a pass or if i'm predicting a pass and then it's buck sweep so you know that time i was right prepared for it and he ran it so uh 22 seconds remaining dropped what out man just good good play at least we stopped it right so it goes back up the middle where reginald bush and reggie is just tearing us apart he's got like 200 yards rushing at this point and he is just destroying us you know uh when you go up against the lines you definitely feel <clears throat> like you need to pay a lot of attention to Calvin Johnson. I mean, why wouldn't you? He's the best receiver in the game. You know, he's a huge threat. Anytime the ball is in his hands, you know, he can make a lot of plays happen. 
you know, especially after the catch. So uh, he's a very dominant receiver that I'm trying my best to, you know, uh, keep tabs on. And for me, I don't even know why, because he's dominating me with the run, not even looking to pass. So um, we go into halftime down three, but we have the opportunity to go in ahead, score again, and, you know, reclaim the lead. Uh, first play, we go to a quick little play to whoop, whoop, double juke, no! And DeMarco Murray again takes another big play to the crib. That right there rekindles our rekindles our I don't know what I was gonna say. I, I meant to say like reclaim our lead, but I said rekindle. So uh, did we rekindle? We rekindled our confidence. There we go. So 21 to 17 at this point. Again, he's running the ball down our throat. We gotta stop him. Try my best to clog up the outside because most of his runs are designed to hit the outside. So like I said, I'm trying my best to clog that up. You know, uh, when you go up against somebody who habitually runs two pulling guards or anything where their runs are based towards the outside. You want to clog up, you know, the outside. You want to be able to have those guards uh, commit to somebody early because if those guards can actually reach the outside, it's Pancake Haven out there, and you don't want that. So uh, third and two right here. This right here will be a big stop, and that's exactly what we get. Fourth and four, can we finally manage to stop any calls or run play? I mean, I'm definitely not expecting that on a fourth and four. So... Uh, good play. I'm definitely prepared for the pass, and he sneaks a run on me. Ten rushes for 100 some odd yards, almost 200. Absolutely, just slicing and dicing us. Uh, we stopped a run right there, fourth and 14. I had him shaded to the outside. Look, look. notice he was playing the outside because I knew that was coming. You know, he called me in, in a man to man. I had edge thing, and he no huddled after that third down run fail. And then uh, I seen Calvin Johnson. Man, I'm not gonna press because he's gonna destroy any press. So I got him 15 yards off of the ball. And I know he's going to go to an out route. I shade him to the outside, and it just didn't work. Right here, we finally get ourselves to stop. Sean Lee's like, no, some of you, give it to me, baby. Oh, and he takes it all the way for a pick six. Pick six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That right there was definitely a huge shift of momentum because at that point, we really did not stop each other at all. He was scoring, I was scoring, he was scoring, I was scoring. Just going back and forth, and we finally catch a break. Uh, he did go to an out route, but we had a purple route sitting pretty waiting for that. And he throws right into coverage. And thankfully, uh, well, it wouldn't have mattered even if he picked it out. It was fourth down. It still would have been our ball. But he did catch the interception, and he actually held on to it and uh, took it all the way for six. So that right there was big, keeping my offense off the field. You know, so again, putting the pressure on him. But he's still not giving up the run. You know, as much success as he's having with the run, I mean, uh, can't blame him. Again, continuously running you know at this point i'm starting to key in on the run a little bit i know you're like gs you're 200 yards too late to key in on the run in the fourth quarter i know i know <laughs> dropped interception right there but that doesn't matter because the very next play he drops back and he throws a pick and again sean lee comes up with it if you look back at the play he had a wheel route to the right side that was butt naked butt naked like possibly a touchdown easily a first down possibly even a touchdown but uh, he decided to throw over the middle, and we had uh, Sean Lee right there hawking with the yellow route, and he comes down with it. So what was once a close game at 17-14, uh, to 14, uh, me being down, just absolutely turned into uh, a blowout. Uh, well, I, I wouldn't call it a blowout, but we end up just making ourselves a very comfortable victory. Uh, him throwing back-to-back -back interceptions which was huge and that's what we needed to do against somebody with you know so many dynamic runs that he has you know take him away from the run and uh we we did not do that whatsoever <laughs> you know what I mean? but the few times that we did uh we were able to call some uh some interceptions which was big and that was the difference in the game so that's the end of the game guys hope you guys enjoyed as always your boy gs i'm out peace give it to me baby i've been thinking about you you no no no, I've been thinking about you. Oh no no no, I've been thinking about you. Do you think about me still? Do ya? Do ya?